first mom uh, is on a mission in northwest Indiana. Her son was shot and killed last summer. The gunman has never been caught. Today she's hoping to reignite interest in the case. Elizabeth Matthews has her plea for help. Elizabeth? Seven-year-old Jeremiah Moore was shot and killed last July while in his family's minivan. Today, his mom went back to the street where it happened looking for answers. She tells us that Moore, again only seven years old at the time, was in the minivan with his siblings and his parents on July 12th of 2022. She tells us that he was asleep in the very back row in the minivan in his car seat when his mom says bullets came flying into their car from all directions. It happened around midnight in East Chicago at the intersection of Guthrie and Maine. At first, the family thought the sounds were fireworks. After all, again, it was July 12th, but realized they had been ambushed. Jeremiah was shot in the back of the head, died at a nearby hospital. No one has ever been arrested, and Jeremiah's mom says that is not good enough. Today, I'm here just trying to reach out to the public and ask for somebody to speak up and say something. The police can't do it all by themselves. I can't do it all by myself. Why do my kids got a question, when is their brother coming home? My five-year-old asks all the time. Well, he's six now. My brother's coming home. When is my brother's coming home? She believes perhaps it was a case of mistaken identity, and that's what led to the shots being fired. This afternoon, Jeremiah's family and community activists canvassed the area, passing out flyers, hoping that someone remembers something that will bring Jeremiah some justice. I did reach out to the East Chicago Police Department for comment. We're waiting to hear back. If you know anything about this case, again, it happened July 12th of last year, 2022. If you know anything, you heard anything, you saw anything, you're urged to contact police. Live in East Chicago, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.